Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Sisi followed up on the construction and engineering situation of a number of projects of the engineering authority at the state level. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said the meeting covered the current standing in the new administrative capital and its residential districts and establishments, especially schools and the new stock market premises. The meeting was held on Wednesday with Major General Amir Said Ahmad, the presidential advisor for urban planning. Major General Eheb al Far, the head of the advisory office of the Armed Forces Engineering Authority. Major General Ashraf al Arabi, the head of the advisory office of the Engineering Authority. And Brigadier Abdelaziz al Fuqi, the assistant head of the Engineering Authority for road designs. The president instructed a strict adherence to timetables and conforming with finest construction and engineering standards along with financial prudence and governance while relying on local supplies. The head of state also instructed the expansion of the Hyundai access to eight traffic lanes per direction and providing all services along the way in axes and road projects. He also directed the expansion of the main entrance to the Cairo Suez Desert Road along the Marshall Abu Ghazala Bridge to avoid traffic jams. The capital's master plan of the World Automobile City and its yards and galleries were reviewed. The president instructed that the city be fully serviced to include shops, spare parts workshops, administrative buildings, banks and relevant government offices. The meeting also tackled progress in the El Galala city as well as plans for the creation of the Gold City. This is due to become an integrated city for industry and trade in Egypt as well as high-end exhibits and labor training to sharpen their abilities, reflecting Egypt's history through this fine craft industry. Foreign Minister Sameh Shoukri and Minister of Water Resources and Irrigation Mohamed Abdelaati held talks with their Sudanese counterparts in El Khartoum. In a joint statement following their talks, the two sides described the meeting as positive and friendly, adding that it witnessed mutual understanding towards several issues of common interest. The talks mo mainly focused on the latest developments of the Ethiopian Dam file, where the two sides agreed on the dangerous repercussions of the unilateral filling process. The ministers stressed the significance of coordinating efforts between Egypt and Sudan at regional, continental and international levels to push forward negotiations with Ethiopia so as to reach a binding, fair and comprehensive legal settlement for filling and operating the dam. They also agreed on fostering joint cooperation to preserve peace, security and stability in the African continent, a matter that needs an active interference by the international community to prevent risks and dangers of the current Ethiopian policy in dealing with the dam issue. In this context, the ministers expressed concern on the negative impacts of operating the dam without a legal agreement that preserves Egypt and Sudan's water rights and joint interests. Shukri and Abdel Ati are set to meet with both the head of Sudan's Sovereignty Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and Prime Minister, Abdullah Hamdok. Minister of Defense and Military Production Mohamed Zaki left to Jordan on Wednesday, heading a high-level military delegation. He is scheduled to attend the celebration marking the 100th anniversary of the Hashemite Kingdom's establishment. The visit reflects deep ties binding both countries and aims at expanding bilateral military cooperation. <laughs> 